All right, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about Destiny's ban off of Twitch. Destiny is a popular streamer and he functions a lot in the more debate bro esque sort of area. He streams pretty often. He's really popular. And recently he got banned. Now he was actually came out and said that he had no idea as to why he was banned. He said. It was one of three reasons. Reading from the article, Twitch never tells me why I get banned, Destiny explained. They said that a violation occurred on stream, and then the three possible reasons they gave were posting a combination of words and emails in chat to promote denigration based on race, praising, or supporting a hate crime. Then the third one, this would blow my mind if it's the third one, advocating for the inclusion of a group based on their disability. There's no way, right? So, people were uh, sort of theorizing as to why he got banned. Now, two of the most popular theories uh, were, one, that Nick... The fact that Destiny watched um, a part of a Nick Fuentes debate, but uh, saw that Nick Fuentes was on there. Nick Fuentes is banned on Twitch. You can't watch uh, on stream people who are ba already banned on Twitch. That's what got GM Hikaru in trouble. Check out my video on that for more info on that. Another thing that was in that video was the fact that Twitch came out and said that they were in introducing a new feature that would allow people to see the exact reason why they got banned. And then this happened where a big streamer has no clue why he got banned. I don't know why that's happening. This seems really ridiculous to me. Now, a thing I've seen a lot on Twitter as I was looking around perusing the internet, and we'll get a little bit into that later, was um, the fact that people think he's transphobic. Now, personally, I think the reason that people think he's transphobic is because of this video right here. But my initial tweet literally said exposing like yourself as a trans person or having different genitals in a sexual encounter, right? Like, obviously there are some people that if you bring up your trans, they might go crazy and do some fucked up shit. But what do you think is going to happen if you expose in, a, in an actual encounter to your trans person? Like, what the fuck? Like, what do you think is going to happen at that point? Like, what a disaster of an idea. And like, the thing is that every trans person knows this. I don't know why you would even disagree. If you're like talking to some good old boy Southern person, like if you're like contra points and you're talking to like some, so I don't know if she said bottom sugar. It's not a good point. But if you're like a trans woman and you're talking to somebody and you're like, oh, this person might be transphobic. I'm not going to reveal that I'm trans. And then you could have sex with them. And you're like, surprise, dick. Like, wait, what the fuck do you think is going to happen at that point? You're going to get trans panicked at that point. People are going to fucking kill you. Not to say that it's right or wrong for them to do it. Well, it would be wrong for them to do it. Obviously, that would be fucked up. But, like, holy shit. Like, I don't understand, like, this argument. Like, well, maybe it's dangerous to tell them beforehand. Like, wait, what? Like, how stupid. Now, uh, I think he could have phrased it a little bit better, you know? I think the bruntness and the brassness of it all sort of... And the way you phrase things sort of really... Um, shapes how people take the message. Um, he could have phrased this a lot better and sounded a lot better. Now, a clip in his favor that makes him sound a lot more pro-trans would be this right here. Hey, here's a question. Let's say that we are 20 years into the future, we have brain transplant surgery. Let's say that I take your sure. Rob's brain and I put it into a cis woman's body. Let's say that you wake up and you're like, this feels really wrong. I feel like I like I feel like a man, and now I'm in a woman's body. Would you say that like that's a disorder? That you have a disorder there? I would say I have a disorder, an illness, or something that's wrong physiologically or mentally with my body. Yes. What and then what is the disorder? The disorder is that my brain is in the wrong body. Okay, so what is a solution for that? Put my brain in a body that more aligns with what my brain is. Okay, you just stated exactly. The, okay, I love you. You are the most trans positive conservative I've ever argued with. So that is exactly the position that there's trans people take is what you should I'm do is you need to make the body match what the brain says. So that's why we have things like hormone replacement therapy, sex reassignment surgery. It's to make the body match what the brain is experiencing. So what you just said is that exactly. Okay. Now, another theory that was brought up was that Keffel's a pretty popular streamer, like mid to, year, mid to upper tier, I would say streamer had uh, got him banned and partially it's because of this clip right here oh yeah meanwhile he stealths people which is legitimately a form of rape
Insane. Insane shit. Isn't that what, wait, I don't know if he, if he did it, wait, backing up, I don't actually know if he did it, but he argued that it is not a form of rape and that you shouldn't have sex with a woman who, um, isn't mature enough to tell that someone would do that to them. So like literally... The tweet she's talking about that led to her making that statement towards the end of the clip is if you're noting so someone is taking a condom off and you can't say anything, you probably don't have the emotional maturity to engage with someone. You should just grab a caretaker or something. And then he quote tweeted it and just made the situation completely worse. This I completely disagree with. I don't know why he would say that. It seems completely ridiculous to me. Um, but with this came a slew of tweets from Keffel. I'm, I'm gonna only look at a few of them because I value uh, my sanity and the sanity of my viewers. One of them is this one. Uh, this was pretty wild. I don't know why he chose to say this uh, with a picture and said, the person calling me mentally ill. This guy has obviously, obviously has enough money for a therapist, obviously needs to see one. Now I I blurred out, out a lot of this simply because I don't want to get uh, my channel nuked. <laughs> this was uh, pretty pretty messed up. I, I don't know why he said this. Um, he's lucky he didn't get banned now. Uh, speaking of bans, there's also this tweet from Keffel. She added Twitter support. This is Omni Destiny using the account The Omni Liberal to ban evade. What, can my followers please boost this so at Twitter support sees us? This website would be a far safer place for marginalized people if at Twitter support upheld his permanent ban from this website. Please boost this if you agree. This, and he got, uh, got a good amount of likes, so obviously people were people were pretty in favor of this uh, whole takedown destiny thing, and that seems to be the general attitude of most people on Twitter. Like I said earlier, you know, a lot of people think that he's transphobic for whatever reason. Um, but looking at the next tweet from her, it says, okay, so the clip I showed you earlier, she quotes it and said, funny how I can say something and immediately walk it back because I don't follow this brain worm streamer drama and it's a big, huge deal, but he can say that I'm an R world because I'm a trans woman who had have relations with a cis man without disclosing and that's fine okay so I, I think it's a little weird i think something um so I, I thought about this for a while before i started recording and i tried to record it like twice and i just couldn't word it right i think the best way to encapsulate my feelings is uh, on um, the whole disclosing whether or not you're trans before and having relations with somebody if you're 100% comfortable with this person and you know that you're safe with them, then it should be a foregone conclusion and you should just do it because that's the good thing to do, that's the right thing to do. And yeah, but uh, if you're not safe, then don't do it, obviously. I don't, I don't, you know, violence against um, trans people. I don't know why I'm saying that. Oh, actually, I do know why I'm saying that because it just leads into a tweet from Lauren Southern. Now, the reason I'm bringing this tweet up is from, because uh, Destiny's wife, quote unquote, wife or girlfriend, I'm not 100% sure, liked the tweet, and apparently that's supposed to be an endorsement of uh, this tweet that Lauren Southern is talking about right here, and um, I'll show you the tweet right now, it says, I've always wanted, um, so Lauren Southern said ratios won't make you a woman. Now, as for liking the tweet, um, likes do not equal endorsement. Even some of these tweets, now not this one, not not the ratios will make you a woman tweets, but the other ones I might have liked. If you go and look at my Twitter, doorknob at doorknob Jackson, you'll see. And just give me a follow while you're there. You might as well. You're already there. You might see that I've liked some of these videos purely purely for archival purposes. What if Destiny said, "Hey, 
Um, can you like that real quick so I can grab a screen cap of it? They're, that's all it could have been. Or maybe they're friends, right? And they're, she just saw the name and was like, oh, Lauren tweeted out something. I don't have time to look at it. Let me just like it, right? So there's a lot of nuance to these things that to just immediately label somebody and be like, oh, this person's transphobic. Oh, this person's this, this person's that. It just really poisons the well. And I don't know if that's, I think that's the right um, definition in the Jackson uh, Encyclopedia. I, I think that fits pretty well. Um, but yeah, that pretty much wraps up the entire situation. Uh, I got through this a lot faster than I expected to. Uh, last take was like 20 minutes long, um, but it wasn't very good. I, I got very rambly like I'm getting right now, so I'm going to end off the video here. Thank you for watching. Bye.